Have property prices already started to crash? Well, let's check out the report from Nationwide Building Society through their house price index. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich and I want to give you an update from the house price index that was presented by the Nationwide Building Society. The URL is in the image, so if you want to read the full report, feel free to pause the video and get to that. Um, I wanted to bring our attention back to the ONS, the Office of National Statistics, to see what they said the house prices were in July. Obviously, there's always a, a backlog. We're in October, but they only just did the report in September, late September, on July. So there is a lag, for sure. The HPIs, hopefully, from Nationwide is a little bit more updated, so hopefully it will forecast where we're going. So in the report, the Nationwide said, modest slowing in annual UK house price growth to 9.5% in September from 10% in August. In September, annual house price growth slowed to a single digit for the first time since October last year, although 9.5%, the pace of increase, remained robust. Now, this is pretty much up-to-date information that we have from them, and they're saying that yes, there is a price modification, if you like, but it's robust. What does that mean to you? Does that mean there is a price crash or a collapse in the market or there's just a price correction or it means nothing at all? Uh, comments in the boxes as usual, please. Um, they continue to say there have been further signs of a slowdown. Okay, so this is whereby most people will be focusing their efforts on when they're commenting, I'm sure that there is a slowdown, then natural, there is going to be this lack of uh, maybe potentially a supply, or sorry, I should say, there's going to be more supply than demand, which then inevitably pushes down prices, does it not? Again, if you agree, then put in your comments. If you disagree, put in your comments and say why. Um, so the slowdown in the market over the past month, with the number of mortgages approved for house purchases remaining below pandemic levels, we talk about COVID-19, of course, and surveys reporting a decline in buyer inquiries. Nevertheless, the slowdown to date has been modest. Again, the key word really is modest. It's not saying, oh, there's a dramatic fall because of recession, and which what people will be looking at to say, well, is there a collapse? Well, they're saying there isn't. So there we are. HPI by lowering transaction costs, the reduction in stamp duty may provide some support to activity and prices as will the strength of the labour market, assuming it persists, with unemployment rates at its lowest level since 1970s. Hmm. This is a report that was done in, in September, right? Quite up to date. And they, they talk about recession. Mass unemployment. We talk about some people on YouTube saying recession or depression. But these guys are saying there's not much unemployment. In fact, unemployment is lowest since 1970s. And again, this is up-to-date information and people will say to me, well, you're not looking at the big picture, but we can only look at what data is available. You know, we can always assume what's happening in the future. I'm not predicting the future. I'm just saying what's on here. So please don't shoot me down. But it would be really good for you to cast your views of what you are seeing in the market today because this report may be a couple of weeks old, maybe two, three weeks old. So what are you seeing in those last two, three weeks to say if there's an Armageddon or not? I'm not sure what you're thinking and what you're seeing. So please do put in your comments. Um, let's go into UK nationwide housing index and annual change in house prices. And you'll see that London is the lowest performing in terms of house prices, but Southwest East Midlands, which is where I'm originally from, are seeing good house price increases. So if you're looking to buy a property, maybe London's not such a good idea. If you think you're going to see a price correction or a crash, well, then that those area, those bar charts to the right are the areas probably to stay away from. But the ones on the left hand side may be able to get through this whole recession price, property crash, whatever you like to call it, but they are maybe less susceptible to price falls in the future, if there are going to be one. I'm not going to cast my assumption on what they are. I've already been told off many times from you guys not to put my own opinions on, so I shan't um, do that. But then I get told off for not giving my opinion. Uh, I'm confused, uh, but I should leave it to you to make those comments in the boxes below. 
so let's have a look at some other facts finds. So average house price is now 273,135, which is slowly, slightly down compared to what the Office of National Statistics are saying. Annual percentage changed 10.3%, quarterly changed 1.3%. Most expensive region is always going to be the north. Least expensive is the north, sorry for the comparing. As further you go north, the cheaper it gets. That's the way it's been. Strongest annual price is southwest, which is really interesting, rather than the north or the East Midlands area. Uh, weakest annual price index is London, of course. But if you are looking to buy a home, then I would strongly suggest that you still look to buy a home. Take advantage of the lower interest rates whilst they're there. Interest rates will inevitably go up. How long for is again debatable. Um, but whilst you can get away with this new stamp duty land tax, uh, then may as well take advantage of that. But then these stamp duty rates are going to be here forever, apparently, just like the uh, the higher additional rate tax bands. That was always going to be forever. Oh, wait, until two weeks after. Uh, and then everyone says you should ch reverse it. So are they going to re reverse stamp duty land tax? Again, uh, your comments in the boxes below, please.